Whoa. Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. So, I'm here to test the Pure Lure 7, very very pretty rod, I've paired it with the Pure Lure Silver Feather, this rod is rated for 2.5 to 17 grams and it's 2.08 meter, meters, I'm using 7 gram, gram jig and I'll try to catch something and christen the rod so the casting abilities of this rod I know that I'm using the pure lure silver feather on a 7 gram jig but I'm not putting any effort on the cast I'm just letting my wrist go and the jig is being propelled meters and meters and meters uh, from my calculation on google maps it should be around 30 or 40 meters on the longer casts which is around the same thing on yards and i'm still running the first braid that i put on the silver feather it's the x4 microfly by kingdom the white one so very very light line for this type of applications these are sea fish that are going up river to spawn so they are we call it savedas i think in britain they call it twait shad or something like that i will put the scientific name somewhere with some photo so you can see it up close and we are target them today i brought this rod because what the heck why not um i just want to catch something here a bite but let's see what happens next Another one for my colleague. It's a big one. It's also with a Mifine rod. Quick side note about my colleague. Sure. He's the one mentoring me on this venture on brackish and saltwater. And in this day, he got 42 fish. But now it's my time to shine. Yep, it's on. Ella. You know shit gets serious when I start to speak in Portuguese while I'm catching fish. Oh, it's fall hooked. Very, very quickly release because it was fall hooked. Let's try to catch one the proper way. This rod just casts amazingly. Ah, que delícia! So, actually, delícia means good in Portuguese, but this is a reference to a meme that all my Brazilian friends know about. Ah, que genius! But. Continuing on with the fishing. Another one. Yes. So now you can see the solid tip of this rod in action. Just keeping the fish pinned. Even though it may cost you some hook sets. This will keep it properly hooked. This one. Just that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, help yourself. A bit of salad.
Yep. We are doubling on. He's also. Hey! Big jump. And it went away. Another one. I think this one is bigger. Ah, it unhooks itself. This is casting seven grams like is nobody business. And another one. I know it looks like I'm yonking the fish, but you don't really hear the drag because the fish is coming towards me and I need to reel the maximum that I can so it doesn't get any slack line and goes away. Another one on the table. Another one. Hey, it unhooked itself. Ah. This is fun. It would be a lot funnier if I had trebles that were thinner and could actually hook the fish. These trebles are very, very thick for the size of jig. For, so for a seven gram jig, this looks like the sort of thing that you would use for hard mouth sea creatures that you would hook like with a steel bar. Ah. Yep, still on. This one is fat. So I'm just flicking the rod over my head and that's enough to propel the 7 gram jig until... Ah, it, The treble on this jig is crap. Whoa. Hook, unhook. These trebles are very, very crap. Need to swap them. So, overall, the Sedum, it's a pretty, pretty awesome rod. Let's try to not get snagged. Mullets jumping out of the water. So I just saw some bass. Ooh. Yeah, it's on. Ah, oh, it broke off. It took my jig. This is what happens when you fish with white line. 
Ah, feeling a bit quick swap for another jig. So, for you guys to have a point of comparison of this rod, if you have a Mablos Ultima and you want a bass rod that is a bit heavier, bit faster, this is a excellent upgrade. It fishes the same way as the Mavlos Ultima, but it has a awesome fit and finish. It still propels the lures like the Ultima with also a bit of a increase on the cast weight. You will not go as low as the Ultima, but you can cast everything until 17 grams. Yeah, another one. Whoa! Auto unhooks. My colleague also with another one. A lot of drag peeling today. So, I had a blast, but at least I know the next time I come in here, you see me here hooking a fish and fearing for my life if it jumps out and just spits the hook because even though it's pointy, it's too thick for its mouth to penetrate but at least I can land this one it's properly hooked uh, but I will not risk it coming again in here with these crappy trebles that come on this one and this is not an Aliexpress jig, this is a store-bought jig obviously it comes from the same place but at least it could have better hardware since it costs three times the price so if you look closely on the video you will see that it was actually hooked on the assistant hook that i put the day before and the assistant hook it's from aliexpress so at least something works i know that assistant hooks are usually thinner but again the treble just went in for the mess it went on the shin fall hook at the fish and it's not good i'm just taking out the treble now to release this fella but awesome day probably my best day of the year in terms of numbers pretty pretty cool day um, I had a blast I want to thank my friend who took me to this awesome spot these guys are migratory I will try to come in here to test some I would say heavier rods but they are still medium light and light rods that I have uh, with jigs to catch these guys because it's too much fun. Yep, I had the camera off already. We are just about to leave and... One last cast. You know how it is, guys. One last cast. It's a mullet? No. It's for hook it. So my final thoughts on my first outing with a pure lure Seda, the new one, it's that is awesome. I think if you can get it for under $100 or $90, it's a steal, it's a step up on a rod like the Ultima if you have it. It's very, 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 very well put together, very, very pretty rod and very very functional rod even though it has a solid tip it's actually pretty pretty good i can recommend it to you guys i know that the normal price is a bit steep for an aliexpress rod but the packaging is amazing from pure lure and the rod usually on choice days will go near 100 if you put the aliexpress coupons on choice days on top of that it will go under 100 and that that price it's an amazing value it's pretty pretty good uh, i know that the cast weights are a bit heavier for ultralight but you can start at 2.5 grams and still have that fast action that you desire but with that said i will see you guys next time bye